Busy morning here in the Oklahoman's Video Studio. Time for our River Sport Adventures update. Dave Morris here alongside Mike Knopp, Executive Director of the Oklahoma City Boathouse Foundation. Always great to see you, sir. Good to see you, Dave. You brought friends. We've uh, met Riley Dampier before, High Performance uh, Training Center coach. Yes. And a new guy. Great to meet you. Uh, Thank you. Let, me, let me give this a shot here. Prevel Inkati. Yes. Well, very nice to meet you. Thank you for coming in. Uh, you, you are a high performance athlete representing the country of Benin. Exactly. Um, and I, I'm not going to lie, I had to just look up where is Benin. It's right next to uh, uh, Uganda. Is that what I just said? In Nigeria. Nigeria, yeah. Nigeria yes. Yep. Um, what brings you here? Oh, <laughs> so I'm looking for a place to train during the, the winter because it's winter in France because I, I live in France. You live in France? Yeah. And I knew that Riley Dampier is now head coach at the U.S. Rowing High Performance Center. So I asked her if I can come to do a training camp. So she said yes. And how did so, you guys connect? So um, I worked during one year at the French Embassy in Washington D.C. So I'm training for I'm training for one one week one one year in D.C. with Riley, so. Right, I was in Washington, D.C. before I moved here to Oklahoma City, Dave, so that's where we met. Wow, so what do you think of Oklahoma City? How long have you been here now? Um, two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. So you're just getting a taste of it. Um, yeah. So he probably thinks the Oklahoma City weather is always like this, which that's just not the case. It's always like this. <laughs> what are you talking about, <laughs> just <Dave? perfect>. yeah. <laughs> It's just perfect. <laughs> uh, what's the weather like in Benin? Sorry? What is the weather like traditionally in Benin? Oh, it's, it's hot. <laughs> hot? Yeah. <laughs> or the, uh, yeah. So it's, I don't know, it's more than 19? 90, 90 degrees? 90 degrees yeah. all the time. Yeah, all the time. Fair so. Fair well, um, tell us a little bit more about what got you into this sport. What attracted you to it? Oh, so this rowing, it's a beautiful sport, so it's outside first and it's a very technique and physical sport, so I think it's, it's this uh, that can bring me at this sport, so, yeah. yeah. And right. how long have you been doing it for, sorry? Um, 14 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. You're bringing in people from all over the world. That's what's great about being a high performance center with U.S. Rowing and U.S. Olympic Committee is we get to have these great athletes coming in from all over the world, really, it's just great to have uh, build all these relationships and, and and really welcome athletes, make them feel at home here in Oklahoma City. Riley, uh, we mentioned uh, on the high performance things, uh, there's some specific training coming up for the World Challenge. What is the World Challenge? So we have the World Challenge. It's actually going to be in October, okay. Dave. And, it's uh, coming up. <laughs> right. It's yeah. just months away. Well, yeah. I only mentioned it because it will. the idea is that we bring athletes in from around the world. And I've just recently uh, had another athlete who will be representing the country of Samoa at the World Championships this year. So to have Prevel and this other athlete together in the place where we'll be having the World Challenge in October, it's a great opportunity to give them exposure to our site and then spread the word ar essentially around the world that we have this incredible facility where we'll be able to do the night sprints and the head racing um, and just bring people from all over the world to, to Oklahoma City. You know, we, we mentioned the weather, the, un, the unusually warm weather that we're having here in Oklahoma City, uh, and you joked on the way in, you didn't even need to shut down over the weather, yeah. the way that the weather, the weather has stayed warm. Has that helped with the training? Tremendously. It's been great. I mean, we have everything we need for winter training with the tanks and the ergs and everything, but, uh, but of course, you can't substitute the feel of the water, you know, uh, truly. So it's been, it's been wonderful. We've been able to be on the water the majority of the winter. So, so far, I'm... I'm having a great time down here in Oklahoma City. <laughs> this is what the winter has to offer. I'm in. Yeah. Prevail, is there any difference in the river that we have here versus some of the water that you've competed on or trained on in the past? Um, no, I don't think so because uh, the course, it's like it's a race course. So it's, um, it's like, I don't know when I compete on a different course, so it's the same. So, so the weather help, uh, helps for, for the training. So, so far, so good. So, no, I'm, I think the, the course and all the equipment of the High Performance Center is just awesome. So it's perfect for training. Pretty good feedback, right? Good feedback, yeah. We love to hear that. And that's a great <laughs> affirmation. For, and we do have people from around the world that, that see that have been in a lot of places. And, and that's right. something that we try to 
kind of continue to explain to our you know Oklahoma people here in Oklahoma City, right in our own backyard, we've got a, really an international venue. So. People in two other continents realize yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah. Right here downtown. Hey, yeah. guys. Yeah. Uh, well, we mentioned uh, the warm weather, and perhaps you didn't even need to shut down. Yeah. You probably are headed towards some openings. We sure are. Just around the corner, March 11th is our opening day for uh, Riversport Adventure Park with all of our whitewater uh, rafting and adventures that will be going on. And so um, we're really excited about this year. It'll be our first year to be a, have a full year of operations. Um, and, you know, if the weather keeps up, it's going to be a tremendous time to come go rafting on your spring break. Right. You know, kids come, come down and, and spend the week with us. Um, we actually have um, spring break camps that are going to be going on where the kids that participate get to do all the adventures while they're here for the week. And so, um, so it's just, just a lot of fun uh, to be had down here in just a couple of weeks with spring break. And I will say this too, I mean, our team and the Boathouse, with the, with the Boathouse Foundation has been doing a tremendous job getting ready, a lot of power washing, as we've said before, recovering GoPros and wedding oh, rings and all really? kinds of stuff in the bottom of the, in the channel. Um, and just getting it looking, uh, so it'll be it'll just be ready to go here. Well, I was going to ask you, are you dumping the water back into it? Because at last we heard you had drained it and you were doing the cleaning. The uh, the refill begins next week, okay. so like on probably Tuesday, where we're gonna we want to get as much out as we can, get it ready to go, and then the water will start coming back. And um, there still will be construction going on in in March. We have that bridge that's under construction, but um, that'll be a really great improvement when it's done here later this spring. So. GoPros still functioning for the most part? You know, I think they are. They're made to do that. So, yeah. <laughs> they they're, are they're, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. And the wedding rings, any good stories there? Yeah, it, you know, they've actually made some uh, some people really happy. I mean, it's My been God. kind of this, they didn't expect to get their ring back, and they did kind of thing. So, we've, uh, that, that's been a fun part of, part, part of this. I mean, we, I, I was joking with our friends in Bricktown about, you know, they find, skateboards and strollers and various things in the canal we find gopros and wedding rings in our in, in our draining so yeah yeah i'm sure that really did yeah. make their day yeah. uh, you have a couple events coming up this weekend uh, the perfect finish yeah the perfect finish we've mentioned that before that's on saturday it's a really great event um, it's to support our youth programs our junior rowing program um, with our equipment and, and scholarships for kids to be involved but it's a um, it's it's just a lot of fun. It's in the Devon Boathouse and the Chesapeake Finish Line Tower, and you get to go and there's wine tasting, there's silent auction, there's music. I mean, it's 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 open to everyone, and you can find out more on our website, riversportokc.org. Um, still tickets available, and then on Sunday we have the Boathouse Brides uh, wedding show, and it's a uh, we it's kind of when you. We, we've kind of created this uh, sort of informal coalition of people that when they get married at the boathouse, they get become known as a boathouse bride. And okay. so uh, it's fun. I mean, we've got all these great facilities. We didn't realize when we built the boathouse district how much of a wedding destination it would be. Um, it's and a good idea it's a, to kind of yeah. diversify the portfolio of what well, you can is, do you know, out there. Yeah, it is. And, and then then folks, they get in, if they have their wedding, maybe they come and they get they, they get in shape for the wedding <laughs> in the boathouse district as well, and maybe they stick with it right. as a lifestyle thing. And, and so it's kind of a full package. So you, you come down, and this on Sunday, there'll be all the vendors that are our partners that help put on these great weddings. And uh, we can do a lot of cool things. Um, you know, we had a wedding last week, and the, the lights came on on the river. Very so nice. there's a lot of cool things that we can do. So yeah, It's a beautiful area, and yeah. as he mentioned, more information can be found at riversportokc.org. Riley, have you been here a year yet? No, October, October 1. Okay. So this is, again, this has been a tremendous uh, winter. <laughs> have you uh, introduced Prevel into any place that you have discovered since being here? Hey, you got to try this. This was new to me. And Oh, wow. I'm not sure that I want to talk about it. <laughs> right. But I, I, I took him to Cowboys, I'll tell you. Okay. I, went, I took him to Cowboys. I had uh, another friend visiting, actually, and we and it was quite an experience to yeah. have the live bull riding uh, inside the sure. bar, right? So yeah. this was <laughs> something new for yes. Prevel, for sure. But I'm sure you've heard about that. Oklahoma, there's got to be cowboys around here. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> we, we did the cowboy, cowboy Museum. Yeah, we also went to the museum. That was, uh, that was very cool as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, you really talk about uh, the Boathouse District, uh, and the Cowboy Museum and the, and the Memorial. There are a lot of things in Oklahoma City that are just well done. 
Yeah, that's right. I mean, we're very proud oh, of these absolutely. these places, and absolutely. and they're always our must see stops or when when people come to town. And I think collectively, you know, we're building an international destination here in Oklahoma City, and you know, with all of these attractions that really go together. And uh, it's going to get even better, you know, in the years to come. The American Indian Cultural Center, of course, True. is going to be another big part of that. Which so. will be right, right, right down the end of your yeah, operation. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mike, as always, we appreciate it. Thanks Thank for you, stopping Dave. in. Appreciate it. Riley, great to see you Thanks again. See you, uh, see you in Trader Joe's probably yeah, right. down the road. <laughs> right. uh, and Prevail, great to meet you. Great to meet you. Best too. of luck with everything moving forward. Thank you. All right, more information at riversportokc.org.